Hello everybody! In this video I will explain grade 12 probability, more specifically factorials and arrangements. This is lesson 2 of 5. There is a special way to write some of the calculations that we have already seen in lesson 1. It is called factorial notation. The product 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 can be written as 7 factorial or 7 with an exclamation mark. This is read as 7 factorial. In other words, 6 factorial is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and the answer is 720. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and the answer is 24. We can even calculate factorials using our calculator and then there's this little button and you find it there on your calculator and remember, if you use the yellow buttons there, then you have to press shift as well. Next, we will deal with arrangements of objects in a row. Rule 1. If n items must be arranged in a row, this can be done in in factorial ways. Example 1. A chef has four different cookbooks, namely soups, cakes, Italian and Indian. How many different ways can they be arranged on a bookshelf? And then you give yourself your four little pigeonholes and then in the first pigeonhole there's four choices, three choices, two and 1. And that is 4 factorial, which is the same as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and it's equal to 24. Example 2. A TikToker places 6 chairs in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Two dogs and four cats. One, two, three, four cats are to be seated in these chairs to be photographed. In how many different ways can they be seated if? Question one. Any pet may be seated in any chair. Then, in the first J, there's six possibilities. Then, five, four, three, two, one. And that is six times five times four times three times two times one, which is six factorial. And when you do that one with your calculator, the answer is these bits can be seated and then there's 720. 20 arrangements. Question 2. In how many different ways can they be seated if the dogs must be seated next to each other? So what you will see now is suddenly the fact that the dogs have to sit next to each other, now suddenly there's only one space. So therefore, this becomes 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 for the four cats there. And that translates to 5 factorial. But remember, there's two dogs. One, two dogs sitting there. And we, it is as if we group them together. And that translates to 2 factorial. Therefore, 5 factorial is 120 times 2 factorial is 2 and then you answer 240 different ways. 
Example 3. A little boy has two different red cars, three different yellow cars, and two different blue cars that he wants to place on a shelf. How many different ways can they be arranged? So do you agree? First of all, we need to decide how many cars there are in total. So that's 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 2 is 7. That's why there's 7 spaces. Then in the first space, there's 7 options. Then 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that translates to 7 factorial. And when you work it out with your calculator, the answer is 5,040 ways. The next question says, how many ways can they be arranged if cars of the same color must be placed together? So now you will see that there's three little blocks because this form um, three units. So there's red, yellow and blue. So inside the red block, there's two red cars and this is two factorial. For the yellow cars, there's one, two, three of them, and that is three factorial. And for the blue cars, there's two, therefore it's two factorial. Therefore, the answer is two factorial times three factorial times two factorial. But remember, the three uh, blocks can also be arranged in different ways. Therefore, you have to add a 3 factorial. And then your answer in the end will be 144 different ways. Example 4. In a display window of a jeweler, there are 8 rings, 5 with diamonds, and three with aquamarine stones. Question one, how many different ways can they be arranged in the display window? Therefore, there's eight rings, and then you can see these eight spaces. In the first space, there's eight possibilities. Then seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the answer? is in fact 8 factorial and when we work that out it's 40,320 different ways. Before we continue, have you subscribed yet? And you can also visit my website onlinemats.co.za. Also feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue with the examples. Question 2 says, how many ways can they be arranged if all the diamond rings and all the aquamarines are to be placed together? So do you agree? In fact, there's two groups then. The first group is for the aquamarines and there's three of them. Therefore, 3, 2, 1, which is 3 factorial. And then the other group is for the diamond rings and there's five of them five four three two one and that translates to five factorial therefore our answer is three factorial times five factorial but then there's two groups therefore times two factorial and then the answer is a thousand four hundred and forty ways Now the third question says, what is the probability that all diamond rings and all aquamarines will be placed together? Now this is aquamarine and diamonds. Remember from the previous slide, they were 1,440 ways. Therefore, B, the probability aquamarines together and diamonds together will be 1,440 divided by the total 
and we find the total from the first question, 40,320. And when we simplify that, we end with the probability is 3,57%. In the next lesson, I will discuss repetition and selections. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.